In the sixth episode of season two of House of the Dragon, we see yet again the mysterious Adam of Hull, who is obviously close kin to the equally mysterious Alan of Hull. And this time, he is not merely watching the flight of sea smoke, but rather sea smoke himself appears to force him into a rather bizarre face-to-face -face confrontation. For those who only have only the show to reference, the whole affair is mysterious and will leave more than a few scratching their heads as to the significance of events surrounding this character. Who is Adam of Hull and what role does he have to play in the grand events unfolding? And why does a powerful dragon like Sea Smoke have such an interest in him? What are the difference between the book and show portrayals of the character beyond the differences in melanin? Beware, for from here, spoilers abound. Adam of Hull's origins are shrouded in ambiguity, significantly impacting his life and the perceptions others had of him. Born in Hull, a small fishing village on the eastern coast of Westeros, Adam and his brother Alan were the sons of a woman named Marilda of Hull. Marilda claimed that their father was Sir Lenor Velaryon, which would make Adam a Velaryon by blood. However, doubts about this claim arose because Lenor was widely believed to have been gay and not known for fathering children. This ambiguity about Adam's parentage followed him throughout his life and influenced how others viewed him, particularly during the contentious period of the Dance of the Dragons. One must take note that the show has removed any signs that they were of Lenor's illegitimate issue, as they are of age with him, which leaves only Corlys to be the prime choice for their sire. In the show, it is shown that Rhaenys would not have been against having the Hull brothers raised up in station, but the books make it clear Corlys deliberately kept his parentage of the brothers under wraps for fear of greatly angering the fiery Rhaenys. Adam's life took a significant turn when he was introduced to Lord Corlys Velaryon, the Sea Snake, who believed in his legitimacy. Lord Corlys brought Adam and his brother Alan to Driftmark, where they were acknowledged as kin. Adam's potential as a dragon rider became evident when he successfully bonded with the dragon Sea Smoke, who had been previously ridden by Leonor Velaryon. This successful bonding strengthened Lord Corlys's belief in Adam's Velaryon blood and positioned Adam as a key player in the looming civil war. In the show, the bonding with Sea Smoke is shown to be something of a random encounter, but the books point to a deliberate bonding between Adam and Sea Smoke. And why we cannot say for sure why Sea Smoke chased Adam down, we know that through his father Corlys, he does indeed carry the blood of old Valyria in his veins, which while not the deciding factor in the dragon bond, nevertheless plays a strong role in the mystical process. During the Dance of the Dragons, Adam Velaryon became a prominent supporter of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen's claim to the Iron Throne. He was knighted by Lord Corlys and legitimized by Rhaenyra, becoming Adam Velaryon. This act of legitimization, however, did not quell all doubts about his parentage, and suspicions lingered, especially among Rhaenyra's supporters who feared treachery. Despite these suspicions, Adam remained loyal to Rhaenyra and played a crucial role in the conflict, proving his worth as a dragon rider and warrior. Adam's contributions during the dance were significant. He participated in the Battle of the Gullet, where he and his dragon Sea Smoke helped secure a critical victory for Rhaenyra's faction. This battle showcased Adam's bravery and skill, earning him respect and recognition. However, his loyalty was constantly tested due to the lingering doubts about his parentage and the political machinations of the time. As the war dragged on, mistrust and paranoia grew within Rhaenyra's camp. In a tragic turn of events, Rhaenyra, influenced by her advisors, ordered the arrest of Adam and his brother Alan, suspecting them of plotting treason. Adam managed to escape and flew sea smoke to safety, but this act of betrayal by those he had sworn to serve deeply affected him. Despite this, 
Adam continued to support Rhaenyra's cause from a distance, demonstrating his steadfast loyalty. Adam Valarian's story culminates in his heroic yet tragic end. During the Second Battle of Tumbleton, Adam fought valiantly on sea smoke against the betrayers who had switched sides to support Egan II. In a fierce aerial battle, Adam and Sea Smoke faced two dragons, Tessarion and Vermithor, ridden by the betrayers. Despite his bravery, Adam was ultimately killed and Sea Smoke perished alongside him. His death marked a poignant and dramatic conclusion to a life defined by loyalty, ambiguity, and the brutal realities of civil war. On his tombstone, his brother Alan, now Lord of House Valarion, had inscribed the word loyal, for that was what he truly was. <laughs>